But I just think it's weird that he was meeting up with a girl he cheated on his ex with. You know the old saying, once a cheat, always a cheat. Liam, you must be Ethan. Yeah, I don't think she wants to speak to you right now, man. I swear on my life, I'm not going to do anything to, to ruin what we've got. No one's bought then. Nah. Um, just those call centers trying to sell me insurance or something. I'd appreciate if you were saying. Yeah, mate, no worries. I'm going to chat with Liam and see how the fag. Oh. What? <laughs> Sorry, mate. There you go, Liam. It's not a big deal. No need for secrets, is it? Well, I know we've got to get saving, but I'm very excited about going to Spain. I mean, with all the extra work you're putting in, it shouldn't be a problem, should it? It shouldn't be long until we can get away on that holiday. Knock, knock. Ooh, thinking of going away? Oh, yes, Spain. Get away from this place and from him next door. I'm sure he's getting worse. There we go, more money in the tin. For our Spanish holiday. You go to my school, don't you? Yeah, why? Thought I recognised you. I'm in the year below, I think. Thought so. Do you fancy a kicker ball? I can't. I'm meeting my nanny and going to the cinema. Really? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, I didn't know people even still went to the cinema. Lee, are you ready? Lee, we'll be late for the film. Is that your nanny? No, obviously not. Well, how does she know your name then? Well, how am I supposed to know? Actually, that's that mad woman. Everyone knows her. Well, actually, I will come for a kickabout, but can we go somewhere else? I thought you were waiting for your nanny. She must not be coming now. <sighs> come on, then. Lee! Where are you going? Lee! Oh. Well, actually... <sighs> Dale, look, I don't know why you're not picking up your phone. This happens a lot. I don't know what's going on with you. You should have been at work an hour ago. Look, Michael's dad's waiting outside and you promised to take him. I suppose I'll have to do it now. Well, thank you very much for nothing. I don't know what's going on with him lately. Did you have a Yorkshire accent? Hello. I think this is the first right. time I've actually seen you do any work. Yeah. Anything yeah. interesting? Um, it's an assignment on the lesser known victims of Hitler's Nazi Germany. What do you mean by lesser known? Well, when you think of the people that the Nazis killed or murdered, like, like most you'll think of the Jewish people in the death camps and that. Well, that's because the Jewish community were Hitler's main target and hundreds of thousands of people died just because of their religion. But then there were also thousands of German people that Hitler had killed who weren't Jewish. <laughs> They were German nationality, but they weren't considered as pure because they had disabilities. Can you imagine that? Being killed or sentenced to death just because you had an impairment or illness. So, yeah, it's just about the impacts of that on Germany. Cold callers about insurance again? Yeah. Anyway, I'm off out. Jack. Hello. Oh, do you mind putting that in the bag? It's just that the boot's all full of stuff from pound droppers. I've been trying to get one of these for ages and I saw it in the cupboard at Michael's and said I could have this one. Oh, yeah, great. Well, yet again, I'm the undisputed champion. You really need to up your game. I don't play much. I don't really like football. You don't like football? How can you not? 
What do you like then? I don't know, just hanging out and stuff. Weird. Maybe. Well, what about we meet tomorrow? Yeah, I'll teach you. I'm the captain for the school football team. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna have to see. Okay, well, I'm going this way. So I might see you tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. Remind me why we do this again when it's so cold. You shouldn't need reminding. We've got everything we could need. We've got sand, the sea's over there, it's freezing cold. What more could a woman want? A little hint at what her birthday present is. <laughs> what I will say is, maybe you should manage your expectations a little bit. I just mean I'm not exactly balling right now. So it's more of a thoughtful gift than an expensive one. Thoughtful gifts are the best kind of gifts. Yeah, maybe you should wait until you see it before you have an opinion. I can do that. Good. Are there any updates from Ross? Uh, yeah, no, not really. It's kind of the same, so it's not exactly looking good. You don't still blame yourself, do you? Not so much anymore. I don't know. It's quite conflicting to me. So Maggie, tell me, are you all ready for your new job tomorrow? Oh, well, kind of. To be absolutely honest with you, I'm absolutely dreading it. Why is that? Well, I've been a carer all my life. To suddenly go into a call centre. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, was there any jobs as a carer? Well, ever since the home closed down, I've been looking. Well, in this area, it's just a thing. Yeah, that's all you can do, isn't it? Well, I'm going to give that a go anyway. Yeah, you do well. I'm, I'm sure you are going to be fine. You're going to be okay. thinks Dale looks like Mel Gibson. He does. My dad. Okay. Oh. Rain again. Yep. What? Where? Oh, um, okay. All right, okay. All right, all right, bye, bye. Is everything all right? What's the problem? Um, it's just my dad. Um, thought he might have left a stain on the seat. Has he? Yeah. Hello, Lee. That's Nanny. Call me back when you get this voice message. I just want to know why you ran off like you did. Because we were supposed to be going to the cinema, all right? I just want to know why you did it. Right. Thank you. Bye. I promised Tom to buy him lunch as a treat for passing his exams. That's brilliant. Tell me oh, I'm so me. proud of him. I bet you are. <laughs> yes, I will tell him. Thank you. And I hope everything goes well for you tomorrow, okay? Me too. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye bye. You too. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.
something less expensive. Yeah, but we both want to do this. Okay, you right. win again. Fancy a bag if we go? <laughs> about earlier. What are you on about? Matter of fact, I turned up and we were supposed to be going to the cinema together. I changed my mind. Is there anything else you wanted? Well, I need some respect in this house, do you know what I mean? You live with me, so you show me respect. <laughs> respect you. <laughs> uh. I don't know what's the matter with you at the moment. I really don't. I've had to spend the whole journey taking my cleanly dad off with it with the horse head while Michael talks about his divorce. You better sort yourself out. I don't know why you can't stick to the hours you're contracted to. It's messing with your moods. You're up and down all the time. And another thing, you better get this sorted out before we go on holiday. I'm not having you slinking around up all night on the phone with all these moods all the time. It's not fair, Dale. It's not. You alright, Rowan? Yeah, mate, yeah, I saw it. Um, listen, are you still part of the football team? Yeah, nice. Um, I was just seeing if you knew, knew a lad called Liam Reeves. Yeah, yeah, I know that man. But you know, she's not the best judge of character. Oh. Oh, yeah, I see. Really? Okay. Yeah, 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 nice one. Yeah, yeah, I'll catch you soon. See you later.